Today starts the 30-day special session for the state legislature. Governor Abbott packed it with many things he'd like to see passed. He could call another session if he doesn't get his way. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has made passing a bathroom bill a top priority. It's not controversial. It's only controversial with the people who don't get it. <laughs> and that's a very small number of people. And from a business standpoint, there is no downturn on the business. You've got one estimate says, that says Texas could lose five and a half billion dollars if these bathroom bills become law. Business leaders want to put the brakes on at that transgender bathroom bill. About a hundred people took to the south steps of the Capitol yesterday to drive home their message that the bathroom bill they say is bad for business. Fourteen Dallas-based businesses signed a letter to fight the proposed legislation. American and Southwest Airlines, along with AT&T, are just some of the companies that argue it would hurt the state's ability to attract new businesses and jobs. Those sentiments were echoed in a full-page ad taken out by IBM on Friday. We have trans employees and we have families with trans children and they're not feeling safe. Because they've taken this non-issue and made it an issue, it's almost like putting a target on her back. Do you think any concerns about there being a legitimate economic impact of this bill are bogus? Uh, yes. We all need to establish lists that we publish on a daily basis and call people out who is for this, who is against this, who has not taken a position yet. No one gets to hide. No one gets to play neutral. Everybody has to be all in.